Hey everyone, Kyle Mike here from MLive.com, joined by Justin Rogers. It's day two of uh, Lions minicamp is in the book, Justin, and, and at this point of the year, typically the defense is ahead of the offense, but I think we've seen two really good days from the offense, and in particular from Matthew Stafford. Um, I only counted two balls today that he put on the ground, <clears throat> and on one of them, uh, pass interference was called against James Adebo. So a uh, good day from him, I thought, in the offense. What has been your, your, your big takeaway from what you've seen on that side of the ball? Yeah, I, I had no idea what we were going to talk about when we started this video, but <laughs> something that came to mind is You're I welcome. don't think I've seen an interception this entire off season, you know, going back to OTAs, I, I just, I can't, I can't Alex recall. Alex Carter had one that I, that I recall. Okay, so one. Yeah, yeah and, and you mentioned, like, the deep, but uh, the offense last year, I mean, the defense was so far ahead of the offense. It's been exact opposite this year. Uh, all three quarterbacks, I think, have looked mm -hmm. sharp, and, and particularly Stafford. I mean, his accuracy yeah. at the short to intermediate level, which, you know, I think has always been kind of one of his weaknesses. He's hitting guys in stride. He's hitting them in the hands. Uh Everything with the chemistry of the offense just seems so much better right now, and it's it's June. You know, yeah. I don't want to you know get ahead beyond yeah. that, but yeah. uh, it's better to look good now than look yeah. bad, and and the offense looks very good. I asked Jim Caldwell about Stafford after practice, and he had said, I mean, to your point, he had said, you know, he he looks how we want him to look, but it is they are in shorts, and there's no hitting, and you can never really tell what would happen in a play if they could hit. <laughs> But at the same time, this is what you want to see. This is what you expect from your starting quarterback. Um, and I think there is reason to believe that Stafford is um, more comfortable just given how, how the, the elevated completion percentage that, that, you know, a lot of things he was having to think about at this point last year he doesn't have to think about anymore. And so it's just about, you know, pitch and catch. And, and we saw it yesterday with Eric Ebron. Ebron had a great practice, lots of receptions. And we saw it today, I thought, with, with Golden Tate. He was very involved all over the place. I think you, mar you remarked at one point he had like 47 catches or something. He could have just um, taken the practice off at the halfway point. I mean, yeah. he just had a great day. What was your impression of Golden Tate? Uh, I mean, what more is there to say about this guy? He He's just building on the 99-catch the season he had last year. Uh, the chemistry with Stafford just seems like it's off the charts right now. Um, I, I, and this is, maybe this is a bit of a bold statement, but I almost wouldn't be surprised, even if Calvin Johnson is healthy, if, if Golden Tate is the leading receiver on this team mm. this year. Yeah, bold prediction. Hot, <laughs> hot take. I don't, I don't know. Justin's drinking the Kool-Aid. Yeah. Um, another guy we liked today that we both liked was Matt Prater. I mean, he, he was uh, three for three, I believe, um, at the end of the practice, yep. and uh, including the last one was from 54? Yeah. 54, 55, right Probably there. good from about and 70. It, it was with lots of room to spare. Yeah. And I'd asked him after practice just about his distance and stuff like that, and he had said he didn't really do anything too differently this year, although he has worked a lot with Joe Marciano on, on some things, and in particular, instead of just trying to knock the ball through the uprights, uh, focusing on some, a very specific point somewhere in the background. There's a there's a insurance sign or something um, at the Lions, a security, ATI security sign at the Lions practice facility. He focuses on the eye and ATI and tries to hit it every time. And he said that's made a big difference in his accuracy. And we saw in those three balls in the practice, they split the uprights. And they're using the, they're using the Arena League uprights, which are closer together. Um, yeah. That's something that he wanted to, to, to try. And I think you do see um, maybe some increase in accuracy from him. It might have been focusing on the rotunda drive exit off of the <laughs> Southfield Freeway. I mean, he just yeah. crushed that ball. Uh, it's about as long of a field goal kick as I've seen from any kicker. Since, no win, since too. It, yeah, just just crushed it. Um, another guy I wanted to bring up, and uh, I'm still working on the story right now, but uh, TJ Jones. You know, it's a guy we, we, you know, we got asked about in our chat earlier this week, and both of us were kind of like, I mean, he hasn't shown anything, and, and that's – to be expected he hasn't um you know missed his whole rookie season he's still kind of coming back from that nerve issue uh he had a great day you know he had several receptions he had caught a bomb from orlovsky yeah. caught a tight windowed pass from from kellen moore for a, a second pass. touchdown <laughs> that was a great pass. just right one stride ahead of the defender so yeah. Uh, you know, it was it was nice to see T.J. Jones pop out there on the practice field for the first time since ever. I mean, I yeah. just I don't recall it. We'll close on this note, and it's something I brought up in my observations post mm -hmm. after after practice. But last year's sixth round pick, T.J. Jones. Mm -hmm. This year's sixth round pick, Quandre Diggs. Uh, of those two guys, who do you think has the best chance to make this roster? I think Diggs is is ahead of him, just given the fact yeah. that he's a, a new guy and in that nickel position so unstable. He's taking some first team reps. We saw yeah. today. Again, um, yeah, yeah. I, I agree with you. I, I think Diggs is really position, positioned yeah. himself to uh, to make this team. He, you see him with the with the first unit often. Uh, him, it's him, and jo him or Josh Wilson at this point uh, at nickel, and then you see him on a lot of um, special teams. We saw him a little bit at kick returner one day. 
um, I think he has a very good chance at this point to, to make the team. He's impressing a lot of people. Uh, we asked yeah. Golden Tate yesterday, like, what of the young corners, which ones are impressing you? And, I mean, he didn't hesitate. Um, you know, not Carter, but it was it was Diggs. He just said that the guy's got a really good feel for the game, good anticipation skills, and uh, that's what you need. You need to be able to rapidly react because it just moves so much faster in that nickel spot. That's what we got for today. Um, Lions wrap up mandatory mini camp tomorrow morning, Thursday morning at uh, 10 a.m., and then we'll break for the summer. But for Justin Rogers, I'm Kyle Monkey. We are M Live. Keep her here.